Okay, these are the three equations that we wrote uh, in the word problems video. And now I'm going to go through how to solve these equations. Uh, so you can see I wrote, I copied each equation from the last video here. Now when solving equations, let me adjust my focus here. Um, it's important that you draw what I like to call the jail bars where the equal sign is. That just helps separate the two sides of the equation. So I'm going to set up each problem like that. Okay, now let's take a look at this first one, right? So we want to get the var in each of these, we want to get the variable by itself. And to do that, we're going to kind of work backwards, right? Order of operations says we would multiply then add. We're going to go backwards. I'm going to look at this plus 12 first. And to solve, we're going to do the, what I like to call the inverse of adding or the opposite of adding. So I'm going to subtract 12. And what you do on one side, you have to do on the other. Right? So I'm going to bring this down so we still have 1 third x. I'm going to copy my equal sign between my jail bars there. And 23 minus 12 right? We're going to get 11. Great. All right, I have one third of x, and I want to get x by itself here, right? I'm looking for x equals some number. So if I'm taking a third of something, the opposite of that would be multiplying. Even though I'm multiplying here, I'm multiplying by a fraction, and so I could think to do the opposite of one third, I would multiply by three. I'm going to do that to each side here. So 11 times 3 is 33. And that's my answer for this first equation. Now, let's look at the second equation here. Notice, different from the first equation where I just had that 1x, here I see two different c's here, right? So we're going to have to combine like terms. I also have this fraction. Now this first c, I could think of having like, it's an invisible 1 here, 1c. One and I can always write that as like 1 over 1. So in order to add this, you need those common denominators. Remember, kind of adding fractions here. So here, I'm going to recopy this as 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is the same as 1 over 1. C plus the 3 halves C. And that's equal to the 2,500. So if I'm uh, combining like terms here, I'm just adding across the top here. So we have 5 halves of C equal to 2,500. Now, when you have a fraction like this, here I mentioned how it's 1 third, so I'm just going to multiply by 3. This is a little bit trickier because we have 5 halves. Still going to multiply, even though there's multiplication here. I'm going to multiply by what I like to call the reciprocal, or the flipped version of that, right? Because 5 halves times 2 fifths would just equal 1. That's, we would just want the 1c, right? So we're going to take 2,500 times the 2 fifths, right? Now, I could think of this as multiplying by 2 and then dividing by 5. That actually kind of works out nicely because you would get 5,000 over 5, and so c would just be 1,000. You could also make this a decimal of 0.4 and multiply 2,500 by 0.4. All right, last one here. We got a bunch of numbers. So my first step is just going to add all these numbers together, right? 5 plus 3 plus 4 is 12. So that makes this equation a lot shorter. All I have to do to solve here is subtract 12 from each side because 12 is being added to x. So we're left with just the x. 18 minus 12 is 6. All right. So that's how you solve the equations from the word problems video. There you go.